outfit. License will be suspended. I haven't shaved my arms in a long time. And then scratch it off. In case you bang up my car. Yes. In fact, this is a dewy satin finish. I don't always wash my face. Speaking of Yo, so I, I'm so proud of myself today. I have not been really on my game how I need to be. And last night, see, this is the, this is the power of setting your mind the night before. Last night, I took my time. I wrote in my iPad. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I included on there my worship, devotion, going to the gym, coming back. I made sure I had my coffee in one and two, come to the, going to the gym, came back. And then I made sure that I showered, got ready, filmed this video. So I filmed a makeup look, a chit chat, get ready with me. And you'll see that in a different one. Let me turn this. So I filmed the get ready with me. And then I did a try on what like a, an outfit reel basically yeah an outfit reel which it's so i don't like trying clothes on right but it feels like i was trying clothes on because i didn't go anywhere i just did the outfit reel but then when i actually do go somewhere i am going to wear that outfit like you know literally so <laughs> i'm gonna be a little redundant but who cares i got my pictures already so at least that does save me that in that case so that when i actually am gonna go somewhere i'm not like oh, i gotta get a picture i already got a picture do you know what i mean whatever else i get is just extra so i did that and i i had a bag of chips and coffee and water today and it's four o'clock and i'm now eating for the first time first of all the gym was difficult it was lower body but I'm proud of myself that I pushed through. It has been a while since I've been to the gym. And that is because Nini was sick, my mom was sick, life was going on. And I haven't been to the gym in two months. That is insane. So going today felt really good. I'm glad I got that done. I know tomorrow I'm going to be sore. But I'm going to push through because I just want to tone up and just look and feel better. End of story. You know? It's 4 o'clock and I'm like, yo, I haven't even eaten yet. I'm not particularly hungry, but I would like to eat. So I'm going to eat because I'm not going to wait until nine when I'm starving. Coffee really does suppress my appetite for better or for worse. Right. So I do have my hella fresh meals. Right. And of course I could make something, but then I'm like, I don't even feel like it. This is the thing. Having hella fresh has been really great. I do enjoy it. I wish I had logged in in time to change the meals that are coming up because I don't like them. I didn't know. It's my first time. So I didn't know by what did I have to log in and do all this? So anyway, but I don't always want to make something when I'm hungry. I like stuff to already be done. I hate the, I'm hungry now, I'm cooking now. I hate that. I I, I grew up with meal ready, prep, meals prepped. You're hungry? Go in the fridge, get some rice, some stew, some soup, some chicken, some this and that, and it's done. You make your plate, you warm it up, and you go sit down. When I'm hungry, I hate having to make something, so I can't lie. I just order something. Granted, you made me thinking, well, the waiting time, with the waiting time, you could have cooked it, but... I don't feel like cooking it. That's the whole thing. I don't feel like it. You know what I mean? So I ordered something and it will be here soon. I ordered something and it'll be here soon. And oh, I want to show you some empties. Okay, here's some empties that I've been wanting to show y'all for a long time. I just, <laughs> girl, a lot of things. Okay, so here we are. You know, or maybe you don't know. Well, in a different video, yeah, you would have seen it, I would think. You would have seen this Bath and Body Works Cinnamon and Sandalwood Body Wash. Freaking love it. it smells so good. I did re-up on it recently because it is that stinking good. The aroma is amazing. I finished one of these Sal Gennaro body creams. Body cream, right? This is the Bombdia Bright Cream. It has AHA and vitamin C in it. So vitamin C is to lighten the dark spots. The AHA is to exfoliate the skin. So it's a more gentle way to exfoliate. So I was using this in the evening time. When you exfoliate, you want to do that at night so that in the morning, your skin is a little bit more healed before you go in the sun. You can use something like this during the daytime, but you really want to be careful that you're putting on an ample amount of of sunscreen that's for your body or your face and then you're make, making sure you're reapplying but if you do that at night and let's say you forget your sunscreen it's better than doing this in the daytime and then going outside you might your skin might burn hello it's gonna exfoliate the top layer of dead skin the more you use this so i finished i love the way it smells this there's something inside it's garbage so that's why you're like what's that sound it this trash inside i consolidate trash praise the lord that stuff smells so freaking good i also finished this briogeo don't repair despair something something don't despair repair deep conditioning mask this is really good a little goes a long way but i'm heavy-handed so i was taking glops 
onto my hair and ooh, smells so good. Nice slip to the hair. Definitely enjoyed that. I also finished this Paul Mitchell scalp therapy conditioner. I'd be squeezing through these things. You hear me? This has a nice like a minty menthol, right? Is this the one? Because I have a lot of empties. Yeah, menthol type feel to it. I finished this quickly because I use conditioner more than I use shampoo. So I finished this quickly. I remember back in the day, I used to go to this Paul Mitchell hair school to get my hair silk pressed or what, what do we call, we call it? Wash and blow? Wash and set? Yeah, wash and set back at home. And it was really, really cheap. Okay, this is Andrew Fitzsimmons Reconstruction Leave-In Conditioner. Oh, let me get my phone. So yeah, this I didn't like because when you spray it out, it doesn't come out a lot. A lot doesn't come out, and that's annoying to me. So I didn't even finish it. I was just annoyed by that. You know I love me some Smart Mouth mouthwash. I go through tons. We go through tons of these. Love, live by it, use it twice a day. It's a must. Cancels out bad breath, four step dental hygiene routine, floss, brush, tongue, mouthwash. End of story. Your life will be changed forever. Dove restoring body wash with coconut and coco bites, right? Hey, coco bites. Coco bites. Jesus. I said coco bites. Yo. Ah, God of Messi. Coco butters. I go through so many. I mean, come on. Two of these. And this is like not even every container. Like, just love, okay? Oil level. I have these on. I have this and these on subscribe and save with Amazon. So they're coming in, what, once a month or once every six weeks? I forget. And we're just, we're just going through them. They're just amazing. Ole body conditioner, go through these all the time. Love it. Leaves a nice film on the skin. To me, it's very moisturizing. I have dehydrated skin. I just love to use something like that. I also exfoliate, so I'm always making sure that I'm hydrating my skin and having that body wash, mush, that in shower body conditioner is just amazing. Vegamore Grow Revitalizing Conditioner. I use this to the bone, honey. This was nice to use, great slip. I have recently been using a few Vegamore products and that's one of the ones that I finished. Interestingly enough, I got a new one of these hyaluronic acid serums from Inky List and the one I got is humongous. So I'm glad that they made a bigger version of this because I go through these like water. Hyaluronic acid is fantastic. Draws moisture into the skin, great underneath your moisturizer, great to even layer, like one or two layers of that particular hyaluronic acid. Great to use morning or night. I even use hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid on my body. Necessaire has a hyaluronic acid serum for the body, but to be honest, skin is skin. So even the bigger version of this, I've used some of it on my body because it's big. This is so small and I love it so much that I need it for my face. But hyaluronic acid for the body, fantastic. You might use that on the body if you have normal or oily skin and then you might feel like you don't need any moisturizer on top but for me I like to put something on top to seal it all in and it just feels good so I love that I finally finished this Innisfree intensive hydrating serum with green tea seed nice and lightweight light on the skin hydrating I've enjoyed this affordable as well charlotte tilbury magic serum this has been in this has been good i've also been enjoying their magic their her magic cream i am almost done with that enjoy that i'm looking at my camera to see when the people come because i don't like my food put on the ground that's number one and i don't like my food cold i know that that's a problem when it comes to delivery but i like to catch them at the door because i don't oh i just I'm that person, okay, praise God. I do tips, so thank you, goodbye. Okay, Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Moisturizer. I'm actually now using, I've been using their, it's like a vitamin C, you know, it's a lactic acid moisturizer. And I'll discuss it soon because it's almost done. It's really good. This one, however, does not have any exfoliating properties to it. This is a daily moisturizer. I enjoyed this, lightweight, good, and that's finished. This is the Moon Juice Plump Jelly. I learned about Moon Juice through Sephora Squad. There was a seminar that was done, and this is a hyaluronic serum, so it's in a glass bottle. Again, hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic serum, hyaluronic acid serum, they're all the same thing. Very great product to have. Of course, grab one from a brand that you feel an affinity to or you wanna try out. Let me know if you use hyaluronic acid, first of all. 
in beauty project i finished this gentle cleanser this is a hydrating gel cleanser so hydrating and gel mean hydration in its entirety great for the morning time because usually in the morning time when i get up my skin is dry so i love using a hydrating type gel cleanser product so that it doesn't further dry out my skin but i also don't wash my face every morning right away let me put that caveat there because sometimes what I'll do is put a serum and a moisturizer and SPF on and then work out and then come and shower and wash my face. Sometimes I will, yeah, usually that's, that's what I do. I don't, I don't always wash my face because I wake up usually dehydrated. This is the Sal Gennaro Brazilian Crush Body Spray. I almost said body cream, body spray. This is so good. Look how big it is. I got this like last year, literally now in December. I got this a minute ago. Was it last year? If not, it was the beginning of the year. I mean, Jesus, the name of God, it's been a minute. What? Not the flying cap. So good. Another Olay body conditioner. I told you we just go through these like water, honey. Pharmacy green. Oh, here it is. I knew I had finished one of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Creams. I just didn't know where it was. Yes. So I mentioned the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Very nice and hydrating, great for the evening time or daytime if you have dry skin. Finish this. Definitely do like it. Uh, let's see. This is the Pharmacy Peaches and Cream. Peaches and Clean, excuse me. Makeup Melt Away. There they are. My food. <laughs> Makeup melt away cleansing balm. That's done. Is that done? Oh, someone's backing up. Listen, I don't like my food sitting outside. Don't even do that to me. And I put the note down, but they don't read it. They don't read it. Okay, Vanny Cream Moisturizing Cream. This is for sensitive skin, for eczema skin. I like it, but it just dries down so dry. And I don't like that. So it's good. It does what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't leave me a shine. And I brown skin just looks beautiful when it shines. I don't like that. I need to see a shine on my skin. It looks healthy and, and glowy. I don't like how it dries down. So if you don't like a shine and you have sensitive and or eczema prone skin, that is a great, that is a great cream for you. I'm looking at the camera. Okay, Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. This is rich, luxurious, hydrating deliciousness. I finished this with the quickness. It's a nice glass jar. I enjoyed this. I did a campaign with Sephora and this is one of the products. Really, really good. Finished that. And you know, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat in the color Natural Black. I want to get a darker color though, so maybe a different product, but I've been enjoying that and it's been working for me. Finish that always. And then Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. I wanted to restock on this color strong during this forest sale. It was sold out. It's sold out now too. It's clearly a beautiful color. Like what the heck? Where are you? Why? Love that brown. I have the lipstick strong but i like the lip liner option too like what do I okay let's go and wait for this pizza of the apocalypse you don't want to accept any criticism from your partner accept any responsibility for things that are going wrong and basically from being so overwhelmed you push yourself out. okay here i am now in target and i don't need to be in here but Killing some time, right? Oops, oh, have mercy. Got this thing <laughs> falling over. I'm gonna kill some time right now and get some snacks and stop by the beauty section and see what I want over there. I think these are such a cute holiday stocking stuffer options. I got two of these. I need to re up on this for bubble bath, so I got this Dr. Teal's foaming bath wash and yes no lie there's nothing in here that i need absolutely nothing but again killing time in the beauty section what can you you just can't go wrong you know and it's so bright in here and inviting it just makes you want to buy something like let's see what nyx has this is this is new from nyx plump finish with electrolytes how is it going to make your face plump this is a dewy satin finish. I believe that. This is a matte one. You know, I don't use setting sprays like that, like that. But, you know, they be coming in handy depending on a situation. You feel me? Olive in June has press on the mover. Didn't know that. Interest. Let me give this a try. Here we go. Tree husk scrubs. I like to use these on my feet. I do a few things on my feet, to be honest. 
I do a few things to keep my feet soft. I like to use these in the shower, so I'm gonna get a few of them, because why not? Not only do they smell good, they just seem to be working really well. And of course it's good for the body too. Moroccan rose, oh, I can just tell that it smells good. And to be honest, the exfoliating face products that I have extras of, I use on my feet. So that's a tip. If you have some extra stuff, put it on your feet, honey. Cotton candy, what scent do I like? Watermelon, vitamin C. Can never go wrong with, what is this? Oh, this is a lotion, hold on. I want the scrub. Strawberry, let's do this. I used to love these face type scrubs, but these are very, very bad. They they're just too rough on the face. The fact that it has an AHA is a great thing. AHA is going to exfoliate, but you don't need it to also be a physical scrub. That's just going to be entirely too much for the face. It might feel good in the beginning, but in the long run, it made my face extremely dry. Not this product, but something like this is what I'm saying. So I do not do face scrubs anymore. It's been years. Moisturizing shave oil. Oh, shave oil. Interesting. Ooh, and these are one of my favorite keto candies. I can't overdo them, although I'll be wanting to overdo them, but three grams of sugar once you minus the what, sugar substitute stuff. Delicious. I'm used to this kind of keto stuff, so in the beginning it might be weird to you, but this is really good, so. A little treat right there. But yeah, now I'm intrigued. Now I am intrigued by the shave oil because I usually feel like something like this would clog and irritate, but huh, I'm gonna give it a try. Cause I do have to shave in between my laser. So let me try this out. Watermelon or what? Moroccan rose, Ooh. Tahitian vanilla bean. I do love warm scents. Let's do Tahitian, van Tahitian vanilla bean. Yeah, let's do that. Amy is the sweetest. He knocked down something accidentally. So I asked him to go put it back and he's taking his time diligently putting the Snickers bars one by one in this right facing order into the box. What a sweetheart, what a class act. He's definitely my child. And I'm just letting him fix it all appropriately. I used to work at CVS, so I feel for people who have to face, facing meaning put everything to the front of the aisles and making sure that it's nice and neat. I used to have to do that. So I feel for aisles and things that are a mess. You know, you work in retail, you just know these things. But he's also a kid, so it's good to teach him how to fix stuff that he broke or dropped or whatever. So yeah, look at all these face masks. I don't, I don't do face masks nearly as much as I used to. If you've been here for a while, you know I used to do face masks, honey, and they're fun. I just be so busy these days. Like I just be having too much to do, man. Oh, to be like, let me just sit for an hour and do a face mask. Like how? For well, 30 minutes? I'd be like, I want something else. You know, I, I just. I'd be like on go, go, go mode, but I do need to just chill out and do these again because they're fun. There's so many in front of me right now. It's hydrating, soothing honey, almond, tea tree. You're just gonna make sure you're not sensitive to these ingredients. They're fun, they're gonna smell really good. They might cause irritation, but you're not gonna know until you try it out. You feel what I'm saying? Not the term being on sale. I'm using their body wash for the first time. The one I would have is not here, I wish it was. It's the yellow one, it's the oil cleanser. It is so nice and soft and gentle. This one right here with salicylic acid would be perfect if you have acne on your body. Great, it's gonna dry your skin out, make sure you moisturize afterward. Don't be shocked if you're dry. Use this maybe every other day, depending on how your skin reacts to it. But this is a BHA product. So it's gonna really draw out all the impurities and the dirt and the bacteria from your pores, clear it out, clean out the acne. This is gonna brighten probably dry the skin out as well. It won't dry it out as much as this will, but I feel like this will as well. This is sensitive. I don't be doing all the sensitive stuff. I want the yellow one, the oil cleanser. I mean, it's so good. What? Oh, should I get this? Should I get this one? I wanna get, buy one, get one 30% off. I wish it was a buy one, get one free. <laughs> oh, buy one, get one half off, look at me. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Good, thank you. I have a pickup order. Mena, M-E-N-A. Do we have a mobile order for M-E-N-A? I'll walk with you. Okay. The increase in the customer service around here. The line be now on at Starbucks, so this is actually nice. So I am on my way this morning to get my laser hair removal treatment. It feels like it has been, it feels like I have been getting laser hair removal for 10 years. Honestly, I bought the package of, was it seven? No, was it six or was it eight? something like that sessions and I've been doing it for quite a while I've been enjoying it 
I see a huge difference. I literally thought that my arms were completely bald. And then I looked today and what it is is just very thin hair. So I didn't shave my arms. I was supposed to. You're supposed to shave completely all the areas that are getting lasered before your session. I haven't shaved my arms in a long time because I couldn't feel the hair. It's just very, very thin. You know, I literally just parked. I'm just somewhere parked because I have time to kill between now and my laser hair uh, removal appointment. So yeah, what I was saying is that my hair feels so smooth that I wasn't looking at it to see that I have this really thin hair. But anyway, you can't lotion before you go, but I always cheat and I make sure that I use a, an in-shower body conditioner after showering because I cannot tolerate dryness anywhere on my body. I literally cannot tolerate it. I hate it. It bothers me to my core. I still feel dry, but it's not anywhere near how I would feel if I didn't do anything. So I used the Naturium oil, what's it? Oil to, oil to, what? Oil to something, the yellow liquid cleanser. I'll link it below. It's really good. I like it. It leaves my skin feeling like it's hydrated. And then I did the in-shower. Today I used the Taraji P. Henson in-shower body situation and it felt really good too. It smells ama amazing. The mandarin orange. In my in my uh, empties haul, I had emptied a few of her products. Some I was like, Ugh. but this one, my first time using it, I like it a lot. In fact, in fact, I gotta need to say, in fact, let me put one in my Target cart. What I do is when I remember that I like something, I just need to put it in the cart of whatever that store is so that when I go to check out with products from that store, then whatever I thought of weeks ago, months ago is still there. So let me see. Taraji P. Henson shower. Is sh and I was just at Target yesterday too. It did, I hadn't used it yet. So of course I couldn't have purchased it. They don't have it at Target. They have other stuff from Taraji, but they don't have that. Come on. This is insanity. That's annoying to me. Anyway, yesterday, so I have my coffee. They they had it. They just, I mean, to be honest, I had put the order in right before I pulled up. So <laughs> I'm sure it hadn't gone through yet, and that's okay. And that's why I didn't go inside, because I knew they were going to need time. I don't feel like seeing it inside. I don't like that. I just, I, I don't like, I like to be alone. I don't like, I don't like a lot of things. My face still feels swollen. I'm sleepy. Oh my God. Getting up early today was so, it wasn't even early. Okay. It was five. That's still early, but it's still late. Four is early. Five is late. To me, five is like, I'm late. Getting up was so hard. I'm still so drowsy. My face still feels swollen. So water retention in my eyes, I'm sure you can see. But yo, so yesterday I had a long meet in with my new financial planner. I'm very excited about it because wealth building is very important and I never was introduced to that. I wish I had learned about finance in high school, in college. I didn't. I just didn't. These are, the, these are the kind of things, like, you learn about Pythagorean theory and all of this foolishness. Why don't we learn about finance? Why are we not learning about investments? Why are we not learning about just things? Why are we learning about Pyth Pythagorean theory? Why are we doing algebraic equations? I don't be doing algebra in my day-to-day -day basis. God, I'm just so irritated. I can't even recall any of those things, and I was good. I was good at algebra, algebra one, algebra two, geometry. You know, I studied business. I also studied business law and all this. But girl, I don't even, I don't remember these things, you know? So why? Hi, you know? Just really questionable. I really wish we had learned about finance. So I had a long meeting. It was a second meeting, actually. And I'm signing up with a financial planner, which is phenomenal, necessary, required. So I just had to make a phone call regarding that. I have so many things I have, so many things I have to do consolidate stuff from when I worked in the office you know you have plans with an employer now I have my own personal plan so you gotta merge and then whatever and we have life insurance but clearly it's like the bare minimum you know that ain't gonna work out so it's just all these different things so it's like oh all of that and then he needs doctor appointments and so it's like all this stuff and then me personally is like Ugh. so it has been quite a whirlwind i am tired i i had filmed content that was due today and i was too tired to stay up last night to edit it yo man it's just like come on you know i need a break <laughs> i'm not kind of sort of but not really <laughs> Right. So I got a mat. My plan was to get about four today and edit it. And I got about five and I was like, oh, this is kind of late. But, you know, I got it done. Praise be. And I submitted that. And yeah, I have my laser appointment today. I've got another appointment today. And I'll explain that in a different vlog. 
And then I'll go home. I have a little one, two, and two, and two. Have my contractor coming over to put something together because I just don't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? There are two things. Actually, there are four things he's going to do. So that's later on this evening. I have been enjoying HelloFresh, but let me tell you one thing. I wasn't in, 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 our, in our culture, and it might be the same for you. We don't use any rules to cook. Cook by your eyes. You don't cook by numbers. You don't use, oh, quarter this, half this, two slices of this. No, like, just do it. You feel what I'm saying? It's vibes. You feel what I'm saying? We cook it on vibes. You feel me? So I got to be honest. The first time I did the HelloFresh thing, I was irritated because I found myself continually going back and being like, okay, what do I have to do? What is it? What do I have to, how many? Okay, how many? Okay, this and this. And I hate that because I don't, I don't cook like that. Yo, just vibes. You feel what I'm saying? So I was, I was flustered by that the first time that I cooked the HelloFresh meal but that ravioli situation was mad good and I've been cooking it ever since Abby and now I'm I'm getting used to looking at a recipe that's what I wanted to say recipe I'm getting used to cooking by recipe even when I cook by recipe when I'm making some kind of baked good I'm annoyed because it's just too many constrictions constrictions or restrictions either way it's just too many because again I'm used to vibes I hate all that on my day-to-day -day basis in my 37 years of life I've I've not been using recipes you feel me so it's annoying to be using recipes so many times a week <laughs> and I gotta be honest I prefer the food to be finished like I said Versus, you know, all this on demand. Uh, but it's good. And what makes it good is you add your seasoning to taste. So outside of the standard seasoning that might come with it to maybe give it the Southwest flavor or the whatever Thai flavor, whatever, the seasoning salts that you're going to use are up to you. And I see salt and pepper a lot. That's for our bro for them. That's not for me. I put in there my adobo. I put in there my Maggi Cube. I might put in there my garlic salt. You know, whatever. My usuals to make it taste good. And that stuff, that stuff be hitting. So I have been enjoying it. Nene has been enjoying it also. I, I like it because it's it just takes the guesswork out of everything. It also frees me from the usual. The same old, same old. Every week, same old. This, this one is stuff I've that I would not get up and say I'm going to make, you feel me? And it's just it just makes life easy. Now, I wish I had changed the one coming tomorrow. I didn't I didn't have time, I didn't know. But I went in the app and I changed the stuff that's coming for the next several weeks. So, the stuff that I think we'll enjoy, but you know, we'll figure it out. We'll go from there. We'll go from there. I have videos to review on my iPad, so I just made a mess. What a messy. I dang. I'm going to do a little one two one two while I'm in the car waiting cuz and then we're going to go get our laser hair removal and uh, <laughs> whatever else. And we're going to talk later. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my body is so sore from the gym. Lord, help me. Yo, so I'm opening up packages and my sister Chinchina, I should get home and open up my my packages because she sent me something and it's like, what did you send me, right? <laughs> it's the ball mom Paris for me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. Is it a shoe? Is it a shoe? Hey, come on. Listen, it's a, it's a designer for me. What's up? What's up? What do we have here? Watch your eyes. Is this sandals? Ooh. Yo, and I saw these too. I saw these and I thought about it or whatever. Oh my God, I hope it fits me. Yo, they look small. Oh my God, they look small. These are Amazon. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Jesus, they're small. Oh no, I hate when that happens. And she, my legs are so sore from the gym today. And she asked me my size. Oh, now we need to exchange this. Oh, I hate that. And she did say, open it, open it, because I want to know if it fits you. 
Dang. Oh, I hate that. Yo, so can we talk about this package that I got from the Sephora sale? You know, ages ago at this point, right? It feels like I got the YSL All Hours Broad Spectrum 30 Luminous Matte Foundation. If you tried this, let me know. I never have, so I look forward to trying that. I also got the 485 shade in the Fancy Pro Filter because you know I have 490 and that's really dark, great for the summer. Still make it work now. And then I have what 470 and that's like, uh, no. So let's see how this works. I think this is a new shade, right? Let me know. This is a new shade, I think. And ooh, and then I got, I'm like reminded because it's been a while. This is the Chris Collins Discovery Set. Fumi, I'm blanking, I'm tired. Fumi always talks about Chris Collins on social, so I wanna smell these and see what he's talking about, black owned fragrance brand, and it's sold at Sephora. Oh, and then you know how they have 30% off of Sephora products, Sephora collection products. I got another translucent powder because this stuff is just freaking good, I mean, come on. And then, oh, yes. Ooh, I just love them, I just love them all. So, oh, I love how it's wrapped so beautifully. I, jo I love Jo Malone London. This is the P, what is this? Oh, I didn't realize I got Mimosa and Cardamom. I'm glad I looked at this because I almost bought one last night. Literally, I forgot I bought this. Wow. So now I have Peony and Blush Suede. I have Myrrh and And I now have Mer Mimosa and Cardamom Body Cream. My goodness, I literally almost bought this yesterday. Wow, it's okay. I need to look at what I'm getting here. Love, 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 love. Smells so good. Very strong, very, very strong. So good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm excited to use these. Yo, yo, good morning again. So, <clears throat> I went to the gym on Sunday, as you saw, and my God, today, the pain that left me in, <laughs> too much to even explain. So, it just traumatized me. I have been ha finding it so difficult to move my body ever since then, and I know that you're supposed to keep on going, but I'm trying to be serious. After not going to the gym for two months and then coming back, my God, I mean, I don't believe I've ever had that much pain i really went hard on sunday when i came back and that pain was indescribable honestly this little backpack is just so cute and small i put my stuff inside here i have my resistance bands in here I'm still getting over this cold it's making talking a little bit a i yeah what oh, is it you know how you have a stain don't you just go like this <laughs> and then scratch it off? Hunter, listen. Oh, I need my phone to check in. Look at this freaking girl bringing her dog to the gym. Hi, big boy. Are you liking the camera? I love it. Hi. I like the autofocus. Look out. Do you want a new house? You want to come to my house? <laughs> yes. You want to you want to be adopted for a week? You're such a big boy. Look at you. Last time we got in touch, I had somewhere to go. Who was that? Hi, Leo. Does he party in the car? No, never. He don't make no mistakes? Never, ever, the only problem is, Leo, I guess sometimes we don't. Um, like, if we leave him home too long, yeah. he'll go poop. Yeah. He's a little baby. Oh, Look at you, Leo. You're so that's sweet. That's a never piece in the house anymore. Look at you. You want to give me kisses? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know where that mouth is, Leo. Look at you. You coming real close. Last time he was all in my face, honey. He wanted some of this chocolate. Hmm. Is that what you want? Look at you. Look at your mouth. I mean, if you know his breed, then you'll know how big they can pop. Hey, don't forget your window. You could potentially, they could potentially get. Oh. I used to have a dog. Shall I get another one? <laughs> I don't have the time. I want to just jet set. I want to be able to just get up and go. You feel me? You have a lot of work to do today. Every day I got a lot of work to do, girl. Um, getting out sometimes is like a little fearful, yeah? Come on, Bubby. He's a big boy. He should be able to. And then he doesn't want you to carry him. He's so big. Look at him. He's a baby. Kind of traumatized after his last pet smart. Visit. Why he had a bad, bad situation? I don't know. Like for two days, he was so quiet. Uh oh, so what they do to him? He's thinking that's where he's going. Bob, Leo, Lee, come, Bob. He's so big. Does he drag you? Yes. Is he trains? Yeah, y'all gotta be training this boy. Mm -hmm. he's so he'd be dragging you. You don't Sometimes, drag him. Where, where yeah. you go? Wow, In the beginning, so when he's really excited, 
Come on. He got to walk go. on command. Look at him. Is he about to potty? I feel like dogs are always trying to go to the bathroom. I hate when dogs do this. It's because his butt, no, no, his butt is itching. That's the first time I've seen mm -hmm. it. His butt itches. So what it is is, yep, the sacks in his butthole itch. They need to be expressed. Be expressed. Just, that was either that or that he didn't want me to pull him off. Girl, they need to express his butthole. This is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. because I could use this area as a setup. I'm so annoyed. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Wow. Here we go. Okay, so this is done. I'm so annoyed. Yo, I cannot get used to this camera for the life of me. I keep pressing the wrong button thinking I'm recording and I'm not. Ugh. Okay, Amazon. I'm thinking about putting a third one here. Not quite sure. I moved it to be centered to this walkway from the kitchen because if I center it to the light fixture, it's gonna be off when I walk out of the kitchen and I just can't tolerate that. Now, if this is just intolerable, all I have to do is push it over. I had a task rabbit, he did this, saved me time. I may add a third. I'm gonna see how I feel as I look in this area and just vibe it out. I don't know if I wanna do another picture wall since I already have one over there. I don't know what to do in this area. I could, of course, put a formal dining, but I don't want to do that since we have one over there. No need to have two for us. So I don't know. I put, what, photo albums and games in here. And I'm going to just think some more about how I want this area to look. But I like this. I was a little concerned that this is so short, but it's actually okay. It's not, like, terrible. It comes up to my thigh area for reference in case you care i'll link it below if you want i am going to get knobs on amazon to make those black just to go with my go with my situation but maybe in black mirror i am thinking of one of those humongous anthropology mirrors to put here i don't know i have some ideas because i could put my camera over here and then use this as my background when I am filming reels and things like lots of stuff but the issue is this is annoying because I hit my head on it when I don't realize that it's right there so just different different things in my mind we'll see but this is it so far and I like it I like it the pool table like I said is gone no longer here it's more of an open area and I'm trying to figure out what to do with it you know actually decided to grab my camera late so you didn't see me brushing and rinsing my face but I just rinsed my eyes no face wash because I've talked about this before I wake up normally with dry skin so I rinse off my eyes and then I hydrate my skin so you saw me do my skincare routine moisturizer and SPF and my skin looks and feels great I also used that first a beauty BH what AHA the pads for my acne. I could have and was going to use a BHA like Paula's Choice, but I just wanted to finish that. Uh, BHA penetrates deeper, AHA just touches the surface. Either way, both good, but you know, I use that and I need to work out. That's why I haven't showered yet. 
Sometimes I do shower before working out, but just didn't feel like it today. And I made my coffee. As you see, I lit my candles. I got more candles in from the Bath and Body Works sale. I need to uh, open all of them, but my nails, so I stopped. So I stopped. But I have three candles going. I love a good candle. Did you stop the, Did you shop the sale? I want to know. I have a headache. I just took two Tylenol. I got my coffee. I woke up late, late today. I mean, I was up. But I didn't get up out of the bed until late today because I'm just tired and sometimes I just like to do that. I love these glass cups for my coffee. I could have put pumpkin powder on the top, but I'd be getting caught off guard with it because it's unsugared, unsweetened. And when it touches my lip, I'd be like, what is that bitter stuff? It's the seasoning because it's a seasoning. <laughs> it doesn't have any sugar in it, which is fine. It doesn't need to. I just usually put it in because it looks pretty. But anyway, I am watching YouTube on the big screen. I normally don't. I normally watch my stuff on my devices because I put them in my ears and they don't have to be loud and overtake the whole place. But today I have my YouTube video on the actual big screen. Big. Doing laundry. I need to film. I really just want to relax and do nothing. We'll see. I'm gonna see how I feel. The two the two pieces of sponsored content that I need to film are skincare pieces, so it doesn't require makeup. So I don't know. I'll see how I feel. I'm I'm just taking it easy right now. I'm tired. And you know, we deserve to just take some days easy. Although I normally don't like to do that. I can I'm see this camera, you be seeing so much on the screen. This Sony, I, I am enjoying it by the way. I just keep on pressing the wrong buttons sometimes. I'm used to the buttons on my Canon G7X and then I'm used to the G7X having touch screen, this one doesn't. But I'm seeing so much on the screen. That's annoying me, I need to fix it. I see so many things. I can barely see my face. Let me fix it. I literally just got another package in. Yo, I, like I distinctly remember not having enough money to buy what I felt like I needed to create content. To now always be getting boxes in the mail is, I'm, just, I'm flabbergasted. Of course, these I purchased. I'm part of the candle club and then I got the email that there was a sale, so I bought these. But I'm just saying in general, literally just about every single day for the past two years, almost three years, I've gotten a package in the mail. Like, oh my God. Oh, wow. I'm just blown away. So I picked up the Holly Berry Forever Mood candle. This is a 10 ounce Forever Mood. It's got green cardamom, but clove buds, pink pepper, Holly, a lot. Okay, a lot. Actually, I got a DM from someone inquiring about candles. She's wanting to start burning candles in her house and wanted some suggestions on affordable candles. And if you know, I like to mix it in. I get, of course, PR from Nest and other high-end candle brands that I love and they are good, okay? And I sometimes purchase high-end candles. Like I have a Baccarat candle. I always purchase for a mood. I, I'm a part of the candle club, so it comes in every three months. But I certainly, like you saw, stock up on Bath & Body all the time. All the time. I purchased maybe 20 candles from their sale and they were 10 bucks a piece. So I mix it up. <laughs> Listen, I be giving my um, I be giving my expensive candles a break, you know what I'm saying? And I burn the Bath & Body ones every day. Several of them. Right now I have three candles going. And I like to burn a candle in here too when I'm working. When I know I'm going to sit because you really want to give your candles at least an hour because you want it to burn to the rim. These more expensive candles, take they burn slower, which is a good thing. Bath & Body candles burn faster. So you can burn that maybe 30 minutes and then it'll get to the rim. I have to give at least an hour for these ones. So when I'm sitting here, if I don't, if I know I'm not going to be here for a while, I won't burn a candle here. I'm in my studio, by the way. Because you want to make it, you want to let it burn to the rim. Because otherwise, what I was told at Joe Malone is it creates a memory inside the candle. And then if it doesn't burn to the rim, you'll have this. So clearly I've made some mistakes on this particular candle. Take it by Forever Mood because I wasn't burning it to the rim and it looks all crazy. Okay, so we, we get that. Praise the Lord. I really should put a different candle here because I don't always sit here for an extended period of time. And the last thing I want to do is forget that a candle is burning. Okay, that's like candle 101. But I chose that one to go there because it looks so cute. I should change it. But then see, it's a one wick, which these are usually strong anyway. Three wick candles project louder. So in here, when I have burned one wick candles, it feels like I'm about to choke. But I love fragrance too. So like, just whatever. This smells freaking good. What? 
Holly Berry. Hi, how are you? And I love this packaging. It just be looking so sexy and cute. Oh, we got black girls here in ski outfits. That is cute. Okay, I like that. That was real cute. I'm going to take the candles out of the box or not. I'm just kidding. I'm going to leave it in. It just looks so cute. I'm going to store these in my closet, Obvi. Like, why the heck not? I stocked up on Caked Up. If you watched my empties video, I've just been around here for a while. You know I love Caked Up. So I stocked up on Caked Up from Forever Mood, but then I also feel like I stocked up on Caked Up from Sephora when they had a sale. Did I? I have been... Yeah, because I haven't been there. Girl, I don't know. I just be stocking up because this stuff is good. I There's some faves. And then I love matcha business. I almost said matcha candy. Replica has a matcha fragrance that I like to spray on linens, not on my body. It is delicious in the bedroom. Mm. This is so creamy. Oh my God. And then what I hate is then when I get new candles in, I want to like take take away one that I've been burning and burn a different one because I just want to smell this, you know? And of course I'm burning several candles so they're mixing in and they all complement each other. They're fine. I'd be like, want to put one aside, but then I hate when I go look at a candle and it's partially burned. I just need things to be neat. I, I'm just, I, I get like icky about that. So I want to finish the ones that I'm burning now and then start on some creamy ones because in my stash from Bath and Body are some candles from Bath and Body, obviously. Fireside, what? Marshmallow. Marshmallow. I plan on wearing this in a video, hence why it's, it's here like that. <laughs> Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, so creamy. So great. And I just want to burn it, but I don't want to have unfinished opened candles it just makes me want to throw up so let's store these girl this closet got so much in it it's insane remember i stocked up on the zara fragrances you can see i stocked up on the zara fragrances so i got tons of rose gourmand and red temptation yo what is happening in the world can someone please send me a, a send me a lifeline and let me know thank you so much for your time and time and effort oh let me put Holly Berry back up in here. Let me put Holly Berry. Oh, and I found a women's, I, I found a battered woman's shelter, which made me so happy. So I donated a lot of stuff to them last time. And now I'm going to be using them. They come and also do pickup. So praise God. So I donated a lot of stuff, makeup, just all these things. New, of course, not the used stuff, new stuff. And I, I just pray that they're going to be so happy and so excited. Clothes, I'm going to be doing it into them because I don't be knowing where to begin, man. Oh, I honestly cannot function like this. I just, I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh, Jesus, man. Literally a dress that I bought for my birthday. Haven't even opened the bag. Okay, that just tells you how I'm not even ready to go there right now. Let's set this up because I love me some Jo Malone. Let's set this up in the guest bathroom. Look at recycling bag that needs to go in the garbage outside. I just live for the delicious packaging that Jo Malone blesses us with when you buy them something. So I'm that kind of person that like, doesn't want to open it because it's so pretty. But clearly, uh, we need to use this. This is a peony and blush suede diffuser so yum i have this nest diffuser Ooh. i have this nest diffuser it's charcoal something something or other it is delicious it is very woody and just fantastic it's almost done so i want to replace it with this nest diffuser this scent oh it, it sweat a little bit this is so stinking good really stinking good i have the fragrance of this this is in fact the scent that i have mm, in my car you know i have the car diffuser just so good you can i can pour this into a smaller diffuser to use but i don't want to do that i'm gonna just leave this in here in the bathroom and i already have a plug-in in here listen Fragrance is important to me. So I have a plug-in <laughs> in a wall, bath and body. And <laughs> now I have another diffuser in here. One thing about my house is you gonna, it's going to smell good, okay? Praise the Lord. They said I don't have to use all of these, but I'd be using all of them. I just use them all. You know me? Just spread it a little bit. I like that little bow. The bow is cute. Yo, 
so I'm on my way right now to brunch for Cindy's birthday today. Well, no, her birthday's in two days. And she's having brunch at the C. Baldwin Hotel. And the restaurant is called Rosalie. It's my first time going there. And I'm almost there. I'm early, which is good because I just like to be early. I'm going to do valet because, listen, like, hello, why? No more need to be stressing. No more need to be worrying. No more need to be suffer. Oh, this suffer, eh? you suffer for me. Yeah, yeah. Look at me. I just burst it out. Anybody who's from Africa, you know that reference in the name of in the name of the Lord. Listen, we have di di we have digressed. Okay, I <laughs> I really wore this outfit in an Instagram reel. See on the left to hmm? merge onto I forty five south toward okay. Galveston. Lord. Okay. I really, okay, so I really wore this outfit in the Instagram reel, right? But like, I didn't go anywhere. I literally put it on and took it off. So this is the first time you're wearing an outfit out in the public. You feel me? And I didn't get ready with me. So you won't see it a few times, but praise the Lord. You know, it's a cute outfit. So that's how it goes, you know? And that's that on that. So I'm gonna holler at you when we get there because I'm bobbing and weaving. It's not safe. God, here we go. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. How about you? you? Rosalie? Yes, I'm coming okay. to the hotel uh, restaurant. You said you want to take a picture? No, he want to take a picture of the car. Of uh, my car? Yeah. Oh, why? Well, he wants to buy it? Yeah, I want to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give me $100,000. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the picture for? Uh, just in case you, you, you claim something later. Oh, uh, there is not there. in case you bang up my car, yes, mm -hmm. in case you scratch up the tires. Yes, all right, it's to protect you all, huh? Yes. I'm not mad about it. I have a lot of stuff. Sorry, I'm here. This place is so nice. Look around, and I'm early, Abby, carrying her gift, her Christmas gift, and her birthday gift. Oh, there we are, right here. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely place. Look at this. Love, love, love. I'm gonna get some cute pictures up in here. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, thank you. So thank you. Amazon. Really? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, no, yeah. they're mad nice. Oh, yeah, Amazon. I'm gonna have to go look them up. Like 20 bucks. Really? Oh, yeah, real cheap. I'm gonna have to go look them up. Oh okay. yeah. Them up. You, if you amazing. want, you know how you can search on Amazon. You can search pictures. Yeah. Take a take a picture of me and then just search it. You'll find it. It's it's really cheap. I found them on TikTok and then I went on Amazon and found it. They're so cute. Thank you. They come in like, red and blue. Like, think I'm oh yeah, and they just feel like leggings, and they just give a little bit of a yes. shake, shake. Yeah. Like a little pizzazz, you know, real cheap. Right, you gotta mix it up. So you take a picture. I'll show you right now, actually. So take a picture of my pants. Okay. I didn't know this was a Yeah. Me neither. iPhone. I'll, oh, what kind of phone do you have? Uh, it's a Samsung Galaxy. Uh, oh, yeah. There you go. Yo, 30 that's bucks. crazy. Samsung. Oh, good. There you go. Yeah, okay, no, I love you. Uh, yeah. Amazon is so yeah. good. And I'm wearing a large for reference in I case you want to just get it. And they're stretchy. It's like leggings. They're but stretchy? It just has the little frills. I, I'm like in love. Yeah. I'm about to order these. Okay, things. good. I'm so excited. You're going to love them. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I love <sighs> Alright. Okay, so here's the location. Rosalie. So cute. And I guess I should wait. I guess I should wait. So I'll wait for her. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna come over here and wait for her because the last thing I'm gonna do is sit without her. So let's do that. Ooh, this is a cute place. Ooh, nice lighting. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's put all this stuff down. I'm carrying so many things. I'm telling you, these pants are a hit. Everyone needs them. Okay. So, oh, did I show you my outfit? I did it on the video, but not here. So here's the outfit. Real cute. Okay. My armpits are sweating a little bit, but <laughs> we are gonna move, you know? Oh, wait, let me show you. <laughs> the pants really do move. Okay. I'm gonna just sit here and wait for her. Can you see me? Okay. 
And this necklace is Amazon too, honey. Listen, you gotta mix the high and the low. When you mix the high and the low, nobody will ever know. <laughs> Literally rhymes. When you mix the high and the low, nobody will ever know. I like my bun being a little bit messy. What do you think? Oh, look at this beautiful... I gotta come here and stay. Wow, this place is gorge. It's a little cold in here. I'm not liking this microphone. It just sounds like I'm on the radio. It sounds radio to me, which is annoying. My mic that I purchased comes in tomorrow. So hopefully, I'm probably to you, you're not gonna notice anything. Oh, I'm carrying my LV tote because I have my cam right inside of here. Probably to you, you're not gonna notice anything, but to me, I, I hear a difference. I've been using a tongue scraper, right? And because of coffee and milk, this is sticking to my armpit, my armpit is wetting. I, and I have on Lumi, so I shouldn't be funky. But you know, with coffee and milk, it creates a, a film on the tongue, and I hate the way it feels, and I didn't think to do it before I left home because I was in a slight rush. But you see how I got here early? Mm, and I smell so good. I have on Kaoli sugar patchouli today. But I wish I had scraped my tongue, just my tongue, because you know, the milk just sits on it. And then you have coffee breath. I hate that feeling. I literally don't like that feeling. It bothers me. I am that person. It'll bother me the whole day. But what can I do? So anyway, this is Cindy's Christmas, birthday Christmas gift. This is her birthday Christmas gift. I don't know if she'll open it today. That's her choice. And then I have other goodies in here for her. Make this look a little decent. You know, so. Okay, so not me all dressed up and stuff. I'm going to get my license renewed, but not but. And I hate the picture I have on there right now. It's hideous. <laughs> and I want a better picture. And I also want a real. So I'm very dressed to go to the license place. Like overdressed, but that's okay. Because in this day and age, I'm dressing for who? I'm Remember, going to the days of, oh, I don't want to waste the outfit. Oh, I don't have anywhere to go. Oh, da, da, da. What? Uh uh. I'm dressing for me and only me, okay? I like to look good for myself, and I encourage you to do the same thing, because if you've been here for any amount of time, then you know that that's just what I like to do, okay? I do have my new mic on here, so it should sound better, fuller, you know? And yeah, I I didn't realize that you could renew a license. Yo, I am in the most country of country places ever. Leave it to Houston. This is not even Houston. Leave it to Houston to have the most rundown looking places you've ever seen in your life. This guy's probably like, I'm sure those people do not have never seen black people in their life. I'm sure there's no line in here. I mean, I have an appointment and I'm right on time, so I'm sure it'll be quick. It was raining earlier. Thank God it stopped. This is my outfit. I know, like doing the most very windy. It's raining. Yo. Ugh. Okay. So, oh, not my jacket getting caught. Whew. So, obviously, I had to come in and do this because my license was expiring next week. But this is actually quite serious. The real ID requirement for all, all the states in the U.S. To have that yellow circuit with the yellow circle with the white star inside, and it's to verify your status in the U.S. Yo, if you know anybody who's illegal, wow, I feel bad. What? She said that your license will be suspended if you don't have your real ID. Huh, huh? 
on your ID, that sticker. And this goes for even IDs. Remember when you're a teenager, young, and then you can get an ID just to cash your checks? Like, do people do that anymore? I don't even know. But I used to have an ID to cash my checks. And she was saying that even for that, you need to have the real ID sticker. So it's not just drivers. Everyone needs to have this real ID, ID, real ID logo on their ID. And that licenses will be suspended. And that the name has to match the name on your birth certificate. So let's say you go by, let's say your name is Mabel. I'm trying to twist on my, uh, what you call it. But then you've been going by May, right? Let's say you found somebody at the DMV office to let you go by May for the longest time. What she's saying basically is if your name is Mabel on the birth certificate, we are putting Mabel on your freaking <laughs> license. <laughs> Woo! So if you've been going by May since, you know, God knows when, that joint gonna go back to Mabel, honey, whatever that is for you. I, it just, yo, it's just scary because, come on now. If you're from anywhere in Africa, you know, you know somebody illegal, okay? First of all, you know somebody who's illegal. So I just feel bad, yo, wow, my God. You know, of course, for the ones doing well, not the ones who are out here acting a fool. Anyway, if you feel against that, then that's fine. Everyone's entitled to how they want to feel. Praise the Lord. Out of here. I'm glad I got this done because I needed to get done. And I got a new picture. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. She was like, oh, that was nice. <laughs> I was looking very dewy in the picture. You know, I would have liked to not be so dewy. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. But I was kind of like, oh, I'm looking glowy. <laughs> Oh, not the, who's was that man? Oh, I thought, I thought that man was close to me. I'm like, what? Not the camera being down too much. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. No, wait. Hi. Yeah, it was like too, like, how you doing? Yeah, so I was looking very glowy. <laughs> and I didn't want to laugh too much and give, my, give myself, like, high cheeks. But I was kind of like, oh, wait, I don't know what I did. Did I do, like, I kind of, like, tilted a little bit. <laughs> I did what I could. Oh, dear Lord. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yo, I just feel bad. Wow. Oh. Ah, mm. ah, ah, ah. All the aunties and the uncles. Oh. It's not easy. It's not easy. Noriega. Why am I bringing up Noriega? I can't. Where's my map? This one is hard to find. It wasn't even on the map. Okay. That just tells you that this is the country. The place itself wasn't even on the map. Like what? And there's no service over here. There's no service. Like, how did I even find this place? I have no idea. I barely even found it. Like, barely. Get out of here. Starting with Nobody got gone, sign. Everybody, day, day, day. Nobody else got sign. Ah, e -I -A. Nobody else got sign. It's the state oh. trooper. She says, Turn left onto wow. Business US Route 2. This vehicle is busted up. Turn right. use this for then practices? turn left onto. Must be using this vehicle for practices. The way it is busted. Wow. You know how they be doing like, yo, this building, yo, the building looks like a place you go to if you're going to die. Jesus. Like, when I pulled up, I was like, am I in the right place? This is Turn the country. Left. This is the counts. You know, the, the count in country, this is the count. Very much so. Very much. Anyway, praise the Lord, I'm done. <laughs> Get the bell, Bosman. Doing the work of the Lord. FYI, I still send out random, you know, gift boxes. People are randomly chosen is what I mean. So I'm packaging up some right now. Yo, yo, it is so weird because I'm filming two different vlogs at the same time. So I'd be like, oh, this is for the other vlog. Oh, this is for this vlog. So, and obviously you'll see when you see. Now I I replenished on these, or re up on these armor. And, oh, I, I almost said armor, armor and hammer, Jesus. I'm in hammer. Arm and Hammer, Arm and Hammer Moisture Absorbing Bags. And these are great. It came in a six pack, Amazon. I hang it in closets because, and also the laundry room and the garage. I'm gonna go change the one in the garage. I've changed the one in the laundry room. Oh, I also have one in the, get the studio. I have them everywhere, okay? Hang them somewhere. And this is all the stuff that's going to absorb the moisture and then th when when you know that this is done this bag will be full of water so actually let me show you the one that's done in this closet 
because you'll get an idea. I don't recall how long ago I hung this up. But see, as it gets heavy, you'd be falling off of this thing, man. So be careful with that. But this is so good. And then look at what is left over with this stuff. So this is all the moisture that was in my closet. And just can you imagine this being on your clothes, making your clothes mildewy, moldy, whatever, right? This is a bathroom. You had steam from the shower. The, sh the laundry room, definitely full of moisture. The garage, definitely full of moisture. I also have packs, moisture absorbing packs that I put, well, I don't have buckets anymore. Remember my closet fell down? I had my stuff in buckets. I had the packs in there. Now I just put the packs, I put them in my suitcase just because if, j just to be precautious. And I put them in some drawers, but I have a whole bag full of those. So I'll link that in this below. Really good to absorb moisture because that stuff ruins your things. It ruins your things. It can ruin your shoes and everything. So if you have stuff in bags, boxes, closets, you never open them, whatever, you need some sort of moisture absorbing contraption like this or the baggies to keep your stuff from spoiling. All right, I had to restock on my Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat. You know, I love this pencil. Depending on the foundation that I have on, the brow pencil will show really well or not show very well. It's it's a whole it's a whole thing. But I always I always use this one and I restocked on it. I purchased the refills because you can simply put the refill in here instead of buying a whole new one. I have on some occasions mistakenly purchased a whole new situation, but you can definitely just buy the refill. So this is natural black because it shows up better on my skin when I do my foundation and the refills come in like this. So if you use this, I want you to comment on it now. And all I do is just, don't you just love how this thing focuses so quickly? Ah, oh, praise be, man. I, I tell you, I was, I was suffering. Oh, these are very so far for me. Yeah, yeah, I was suffering with the other oh, one. Other oh, one, your friend is saying. <laughs> the Canon G7X Mark III. I was suffering with that one. Okay. Praise the Lord. Oh, I have some empties. I, I be having so many empties. I enjoyed this Pattern Beauty shampoo, hydration shampoo. Admittedly, I used to only shampoo once a month. And these days, I just feel like shampooing more often. I do what I feel. You feel what I'm saying? So <laughs> I've been shampooing now for the past three, four times I've washed my hair, I shampooed every time. So I washed, I shampooed and I conditioned. Whereas before, I used to just co-wash. I'm going, with, I'm going with the flow, with how I feel. So I've been blowing through my shampoos now as a result. I have this conditioner that I just recently finished from Living Proof. This is the curl conditioner for waves, curls, and coils, sulfate-free. I enjoyed this. I have gone through another one of my Bath & Body Aromatherapy Natural Essential Oils Body Wash Foaming Bath. <laughs> this is cinnamon and sandalwood. The scent is phenomenal. Love this so much. And then I finally made it through this Taraji P. Henson The Ish Conditioner Body Conditioner. A moisturizing in shower skin conditioner. This is so much more rich than the Olay one. So much more rich than Olay. And I looked for this on Walmart. I was a target. I couldn't find it. So if you've used this, seen this, please let me know where you've seen it. This is phenomenal. It is so good. Mandarin and ginger is the scent. Wow, it is so rich. Like I didn't rinse it off well one time. And when I got out, I still felt some and saw some on the like next to my ankle. I was shocked because the Olay one rinses off real easily. So this is, and it just feels so slippery. It feels so hydrating on the skin and it smells amazing. So I like this way more than the Olay one. So Taraji P. Henson did it with this one. I just wasn't feeling the, what was the other one? Like I didn't like the handle. You saw my empty video. I did an empty video. Make sure you watch it. I didn't like the handle. I didn't like, I forget what else it was, but very, very good on that front. And then I'm charging my automatic, what's it? My motion sensor light strips that I put in several places, I am charging it. It's motion sensor, so I'm gonna put it in the closet. So you just charge them and then it's motion sensor, which is fantastic. So I had them underneath the bookshelf that has a lot of stuff in it, so.